Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods, and we are doing a monthly map spread for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of August. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Times fluid and energies can be reversed, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you are here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much. Welcome back, Librans. I feel some resistance in the cards. It's been quite a good flow so far, but somehow I feel there is some resistance. Let's see what this is. Now, monthly maps are basically looking into what's up through a wider lens. We'll see where we are, different energies that's flowing in life right now. And we're going to clarify all of that, of course. So let's see how we start, where we are, spirit. What's up with my Librans here? Transformation. My God. Air signs. Guys, this is insane. All the three of you, Geminis, Aquarians, and Librans, you guys are going through a lot of change in life, energetically and in the 3D. There is a lot of change happening, whether it is in love life, whether it is in work, whether it is at a spiritual level. There's just so much of this transcending transmuting transforming energy first card being transformation this is phoenix rising up from the ashes this is winding up the old and going towards the new with a sense of hope with you being a wiser new you oh my god wow yeah, you are leaving something behind, clearly. There is something that you are leaving behind for something better. Page of fire and ace of fire. Clearly, we are starting something really fiery, something new. With this page of fire, with this new enthusiasm, with that confidence. Look, I see that white tiger right there. Do you see that? very very confident in whatever this new path is this transformation is not easy there's a lot of things that we need to release there is a journey coming up for someone definitely this could be also leaving a place not just leaving some energy or someone or something behind this is actually moving forward this is not just releasing this is actually moving forward yeah page of earth with a lot of learning a lot of need to learn and urge to learn and happy to learn and that childlike enthusiasm that comes along when you start something new something afresh wow there is clearly something new coming in it's gonna be transformational it's really electric it's something that you look forward to and it's something that is bringing in a lot of peace a sense of peace as well that finally finally you know the old chapter is over and i'm getting towards this new chapter in life four of air there four of swords whatever the chapter in life was was not necessarily you know very happy it didn't and at least happy transformations are not easy to say the least no you have to forge yourself through fire you know phoenix rises up from the ashes that means what death and rebirth something really ended and that is how you're coming now rising up from there coming up from there hermit there is a need to do some introspection you know you probably are taking your time to figure things out and that's absolutely fine during the transformational time you need to do a lot of introspection because new is coming in old is being released a lot of energy shift is happening but there is a sense of this tranquility there is a sense of peace somewhere in the background maybe the 3d seem chaotic but it feels like intuitively you're like yeah man it's happening <laughs> 
okay yeah eight of fire look energy is coming in communication coming in new energy is coming in a new flow is coming in the three of fire you are all set i'm telling you this is for someone moving this is movement this is getting onto your vessel getting onto your ships this is movement for someone clearly not just energetically but physically you have your eye very clear on the goal very very clear queen of air you know this is my cut the crap queen this is having that vision having a plan and going for it going for it celebrations coming in four of fire there is celebrations coming in we have celebrations on the card and this also gives you a lot of stability somehow i feel there is a sense of commitment to this new change it's not like yeah let's see where it goes no 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 no. as i said you are going to be transformed into a wiser new you so you're not winging it no 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 you are mindfully entering this new phase very mindfully hermit takes his own time you know hermit energy is all about doing all sorts of introspection seven of earth that is putting in that energy that's what i'm talking about you guys are not winging it you guys are really working through things you guys are really you know look messenger of fire that's thinking out of the box that having an aha moment that is firing up your brains your third eye chakra i feel your crown is all lit up this is you know doing whatever you are doing intuitively and very confidently knowing that universe has got your back yeah yeah this is not you winging in and and, and saying let's see where it goes it's not another hand in the gamble no 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 this is not like that this is very well thought through whatever this is probably what was happening in the past was that you were winging it probably that is the reason the way it kind of turned out to be or the way it ended landed you in that pit of fire transformation let's clarify Librans. four of cups and the knight of cups that's what i'm saying this transformation came to you after some losses clearly but keeping a positive attitude is what is helping you turn yourself into the wiser you into the passionate you and this is why you are so looking forward to this new change clearly you are looking forward to this new change whatever that we are leaving behind eight of cups eight of water spirit let's clarify what we are leaving behind before we clarify the ace of fire the new beginning what is it that my librans are releasing please clarify eight of waters there's something that as i said you were winging it it's the fastest moving night we know night of swords but it's also the most irresponsible the most erratic and that is what we are leaving behind that erratic attitude of ours that erratic way of doing things winging it you know this is the thing with librans either you are completely in balance or you're completely off balance simple as that it's either or you're coming back you're bringing balance back in life you're bringing harmony back in life talk about harmony in life we have lovers here with the ace of fire this could be for somebody a start of a new relationship very fiery very passionate lots of heart sessions i feel here oh yeah yeah for someone it definitely is a connection okay there is a rush of blood that i feel in my face when I, when these two cards came together wow yeah a lot of passion a lot of love a lot of happy times a lot of happy dates that's coming your way and this time around the connection feels deeper somehow this could be a new connection with someone that you clicked immediately or this could be with someone that you knew that you were kind of dating but you know it's 
grown into something that now you truly care about let's see page of fire page of fire spirit why do we have queen of swords look we are very clear about what we want okay very very clear you're very clear however i feel there is a lack of showing affection <laughs> probably scared of what happened in the past maybe that's the reason but you feel it you're not showing it you're kind of still keeping poker face but you definitely feel this let us go to the page of earth a lot of learning coming your way look page of swords and two of cups you cannot run away from your own truth loves there is clearly a lot of love coming in. You're learning. You're learning new ways. You're getting into new phase. You're getting into new love. So these are new energies, new people coming in. That's probably why you feel like you need to take a time out. <laughs> it's just too much of newness here. Getting overwhelmed. Are you doubting it? Can this happen really to me? There is a sense of self-doubt. There is clearly a sense of... I'm not sure. Are you sure that so much of goodness can come out of whatever crap that I was dealing with? Well, let's see. There is a sign of healing coming in. The four of air right there. Healing from the past sense of abandonment, lack, whether this is a relationship, whether this is, you know, that new wash that I feel that some of you definitely are going to go on. There is, you know, this sense of healing from the past. You need to wrap up the past to move towards this newness. There is this release of past energies let the past be in the past kinds there needs to be a closure and probably you guys are getting towards that but in some ways you're doubting it so take a time out if you need to don't overwhelm yourself transformation of any sorts is not easy to say the least there is a lot to soak up there is a lot to comprehend and perceive so don't rush into anything don't you are told don't please do not unnecessarily you know take a drastic step because you are overwhelmed we have the queen of swords coming in twice understand we do not need to deal with crap and we do not need to have a crappy way of dealing with things queen of swords spirit Whatever is in the past that made you feel abandoned, left in the cold, you know, not enough, whatever lack of love or lack of resources, that's all getting healed. And I know when the shift happens like that, suddenly when you have money and love and everything that you want and celebration and joy and happiness, you're doubting yourself and your luck. Like, seriously, this can happen? Yeah. Keep your vision clear, okay? Queen of air. My no-nonsense queen who keeps her eye stuck on the goal. Comes along with a two of swords. Have faith, people. Sometimes you need to take that leap with your eyes closed. You cannot have everything figured out, can you? You just need to make sure that whatever is in your control whatever you can do you are clear with it but then you need to let something be in hands of the divine in hands of the universe let us see the aid of fire this new energy communication of sorts some newness coming in and these are all positives that's coming in with the hangman and you are taking your time to process it <laughs> Which is all right. As I said, don't overwhelm yourself. I have this sense of a lot of overwhelming emotions. 
A lot of things happening too fast, too soon, too much together. Three of fire. Moving, moving. Look, six of swords, the two of wands, the nine of cups, the eight of swords, the page of wands. This is mental block that you have. That this is too good to be true. Nine of cups, that self-sabotage energy, that self-doubt energy is coming in again. We have the page of fire twice. There's a lot of learning coming your way. We are at the crossroads and we are moving towards peaceful times. That four of air, that peace, that, you know, closure, that wrapping up the chapters from the past, healing and moving on towards what you truly wanted always in life. Your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment, the things that you have desired and wished for are finally happening and you can see them, you know, you can see them from far away on the horizon, but you're doubting that and that is what is creating this mental block. We really do not want that energetic block, do we Librans? So please, whatever introspection is needed, please do this and address the self-doubt that is rising four of fire the celebration the sense of stability the sense of happiness the sense of everything being lit up you know finally out in the sun finally with people with whom you would want to share this happiness that are around you why do we have this four of fire five of cups look this is what I'm saying. You are scared of sharing your joy. <laughs> you are scared because you feel that it might happen again. I might jinx myself. Yeah, this is, oops, I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, that's what it is. Seven of earth. Seven of earth, please clarify spirit. Why do we have seven of earth for my Librans? What is it that... They need to keep working on clearly. This transformation is not just for a month or a week or whatever. This energy keeps flowing for quite a while. Seven of pentacles, seven of earth comes along with seven of earth. Patience is needed because there is a lot of juggling that is happening. There's a lot of energy shift that is happening. I see that vessel again. I see that ship again. So you are trying to figure a lot of things out and there's a lot of work that need to be put in. But good times are here and good times are here to stay. Look, three of cups, those people that I'm talking about with whom you want to share your celebration, your joy, your happiness. You do not want to jinx it. But just by thinking, remember you are pulling that energy in. So just have good times, people. Just, just celebrate this newness that's coming in just drop that whatever burden from the past that you had and move towards this beautiful transformative times that's coming in shift is in the air yes energies are changing for you yes so embrace them all the changes or the shift embrace let us get you an oracle guidance message to wrap up this reading this one is from the yogic path oracle deck one of the prettiest that i have and one of the first ones that i got actually look let us go spirit what's the final word for my librans for the spread that we have oh we have two thomas and ajna this is working on the fog and that exhaustion that four of air you know taking that time out to recover from the past this white tiger that i feel is also giving me that sense of peace that sense of i need to you know take a breather take a breather i see these white butterflies lots of hope there as well but whatever that had happened in the past that you need to release that you are moving away from did tire you a lot you feel exhausted you do and we have ajna this is your third eye chakra this is your intuition telling you all's gonna be fine do not doubt it that self-doubt that's coming in 
Yeah, connect with your higher self, connect with your intuition. It's going to lead you in the right direction and help you get over this whatever self-doubt, self-sabotage energy that is creeping in. Let us read first Thomas and then we would go to Ajna. Density, dullness and inertia. You are in a period of hibernation, which is sometimes needed to blossom into a butterfly. Look, that transformation coming in. So you guys could be a different step of this transformation. Your body is between lines of a poem, notes of a song, step of a dance. Use this time to fully rejuvenate your system, allowing proper rest and food. Know when it is time to emerge from your cocoon and show the world the gifts you have been cultivating. Stillness is only balanced when followed by action. That rising up from the ashes phoenix is what this is. Take your time, heal yourself, rejuvenate yourself, regain that energy, do whatever introspection you need to do. But man, after that, it's go, go, go. After that, it's getting onto that ship and going and achieving what you have dreamt of, what you've always desired. Let's go to Ajna. You have been using your sixth sense recently, your intuitive powerhouse, the third eye, and it is guiding you in the right direction. Your third eye sees far beyond your two eyes and the limitation of your mind, which can only dream up what is known. Your intuition speaks to you in whispers, in visions, in feelings. Find the language of your third eye and continue to follow its hunches as you have been. The more you become aware of it, the easier this dialogue becomes. Your third eye is taking you on a very journey that your soul was put on this planet to fulfill. So be more in tune with your higher self, your intuitive self. You came here to live, love and learn. As long as you continue viewing the world from your third eye, you will surpass all limitation and find yourself limitless. Trust your intuition and keep moving forward. The path will continue to illuminate as you take the steps. So don't doubt yourself. Just keep walking, guys. And on that beautiful note, my Librans, I'm going to take your leave. I thank you all for joining me. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.